today. This is a second episode of Star Wars Heroes vs. Villains. In the last episode, we talked about how to get started and what to do and how to play the game, like the controls. And um, so today, we're going to talk about how to get more advanced. So as you can see in our inventory, all we have are the starting characters, except for this guy who we bought. And we need to get some more, so objectives, characters, all of these characters we have not gotten. These only require objectives, so I can be bought from the shop. So, uh, yeah, I think last time we said we were going to do the easiest one. So, um, this one we need to complete obbies. We need to win. This is good materials. I already got one. And the rest of them are most just killing and getting objectives. So, I need to get myself ready to get these characters. <laughs> if we can go to the shop and try and buy some more. All of these need objectives to be completed. Some of them don't. This guy. And now we have him. Her. We don't know how to find it. Find the other. I'm going to turn AFP off and try and go to the round to try and double me up so I can get more credits and purchase more things. So I'm going to just going to go and click play. Start this round. See, we have all these characters that we just bought. I'm going to try and a good character. <laughs> the help section does give tips on um, characters that have specific abilities that are good. Okay, so R is a quick weapon. So I'm gonna try and win this. F is block. Uh, think X and C. Okay, so she is my. Let's block this guy's attacks. Yeah, I just killed someone. See. My ability on this guy. I didn't do it right. Press the wrong button. Okay. Luckily, he died. Oh, there's two people over here. Okay, I missed. But, that, but the ability that I was using now is called Mind Trick. Can blind the enemy and stop them from seeing things. I so, I just use my ability, my special, which helped me strike a lightsaber really quickly. I'm gonna get this guy. Oh, one second, that's me first. Oh no, someone just killed me. I want to get some more credits so I can level up on the characters. Uh, whoops. Okay, so we're back in the game is loading. I don't know what just happened, but that was not good. Um 
so soon, so I don't think we're ever going to get into that round. But at least I want to talk about these things that you can buy. They're called crates. And they can hold random materials. So aesthetic means it's like a skin or it's um, a taunt. And utility contains abilities and special skin. So I'm going to buy this rare aesthetic. So I don't know, lost some of my stuff there. There are three of them. Okay, these these two are taunts. This is a skin. Unfortunately, I don't have either of these characters yet, so I cannot actually equip them. But I can equip this character, taunt. See, this I just bought from the crates. It's good in that, in that way. I think this is a different round from the glitched one earlier. See, this person has a different ability. She can explode stuff. Okay, well that was an assist since someone helped me defeating that person. Okay, I don't mean first person. As of now. And when a person spawns and they do have a cooldown period before you can actually attack them. And someone else is trying to get me. See once oh, yeah, that guy right here. Don't see these my little to pull up things. First person, I died. I'm gonna change my character to someone that can probably be a bit more better. All these characters have different abilities and specials, so I think they're actually all equally matched in their power. None of them are too. Good, and none of them are very bad. So you must not be my ace. to run away. So I just, I just shot someone while they were in the air. And you see, this round is called a VIP. I explained it in the last episode, but there's this important person that I must kill to get points. So I'm gonna change into. So I'm gonna be the target next, so I must be careful. Oh no, my character changing did not work. Well, I'm gonna be the target next, so which means all the enemies will be after me. Luckily my uh the other people will protect me. Cause uh that's their job. Unfortunately, they are already arrived. And um, I think I should be a better character. The reason I'm doing different characters each time is to just show you all of their powers and how well they are. Okay, so... 
it appears that Okay, this is a bad situation. This ability goes on all sides, so can I attack? I'm not really used to these computer controls, so it's gonna be hard for me to achieve much. I'm going to get this character now. Well, this is kind of unfair, they've already got coming to respond and trying to shoot us down. Activate my shield. I don't really know how this would be useful. See, when you're in the starting stage, you don't unlock many abilities, so it will, it will be very hard. Okay, so we won that round, even though I didn't actually do any. Let's see how much credits we have. 2,000. I'm gonna lower down. I'm trying to get a utility now. I saw how many got abilities or specials. Okay, so that's an ability. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna just go and find. for this map voting to end so we'll choose what we're doing. Okay, so six people voted that so the map has one. Okay. Oh no. Uh I lost stuff. I should never have gone into first person. I'll just wait for the game to automatically accept me as a random character. You know this is a bad thing to do in this type of round since this is a LTS, which means you can't respond. Okay, who am I? <sighs> this is not really good. Character is not well equipped to match. All of all of the others. Oh, oh no. But there wasn't actually enough space to record the rest of the video, so the rest of it wasn't actually recorded. But I will upload more videos in the future putting more information about the scheme so that you won't miss out on any other information that was lost in this half-recorded episode.